Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 905. This is Mean Girls, 2024 version. Mean Girls is a 2024 movie that is directed by Arturo Perez Jr. A-R-T-U-R-O Perez Jr. And Tina Fey, I believe, is one of the producers of this film, along with the written, along with the story for this film. She's one of the people that were uh, that was involved with the story for this film. After all, she was also in the original 2004 film. So this is a 2024 film from Paramount Pictures and Broadway Video Productions. And I saw this movie on January 25th, 2024 at AMC Westchester 18 in Westchester, Ohio. So, in 2021, the same movie video that I mentioned, AMC Westchester 18, actually showed the original 2004 Mean Girls movie, and I saw that movie there, and I enjoyed it. And now they made another version of it. This time, this is like a combination of the original film along with the Broadway musical because there is a Broadway version of Mean Girls. So it's a little bit of both, but also it might have some elements that is like their own thing from what I heard in some interviews. But yeah, I thought it was pretty dead. So new student Katie Heron gets welcomed into the top of their social food chain by an elite group of popular girls that are known as the Prastits, ruled by the conviving Queen Bee Regina George. However, when Katie makes the major misstep of falling for Regina's ex-boyfriend, she soon finds herself caught in the crosshairs. Uh-oh. So, so, in the movie, Katie Heron, played by Andrea Rice in the movie, who you probably know as Betty Brand from the recent Spider-Man trilogy, portrays Katie Heron in the film, who is a teenager who transfers to North Shore High School after being homeschooled in Kenya. And we see Renee Rapp with two Ps, Portraying, portraying Regina George, who is the widow of the Prastits, who's rich and popular, but is also mean. And we see other actors and actresses in it, as Aria Carfario, as Janice, who is Katie and Damien's friend, Jacquees Spirey, 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 S-P-I-C-E-Y, as Damien, who is, who is Janice's best friend. Damien and Janice welcome Katie into the club. And Janice really hates Regina. She has like some sort of personal grudge against Regina, and she wants Katie to be involved with, or pretending to be involved with the Prastis to get even with Regina. But, Katie makes the major misstep of falling for Regina's ex-boyfriend, and let's just say, things get a little ugly. So, other actors and actresses in it are Avianca as Karen, Karen, who is a member of the Prastits, Bebby Wood as Gretchen, who is another member of the Prastits. The Prastits has three people, three girls but they want Katie to be another part of the group. Christopher Briney portrays a Aaron Samuels, who is Regina's ex-boyfriend. This is the person that Katie is falling for. Jenna Fisher portrays Mrs. Heron as Katie's mother. Busy Phyllis portrays Mrs. George as Regina's mother. Tim Middles portrays Principal Duvall as the principal of North Shore High School. And Tina Fey portrays Mrs. Norbury, who is the math teacher of North Shore High School. Here's an interesting fact. Tina Fey was in the original 2004 film as well. I know she played a teacher. I believe she might have played Mrs. Norbury as well. But it's very, very neat that Tina Fey is both in the original film and 
along with being in the new film, is also involved with the production. Cool. And like I said, this movie has a combination of the original film, the Broadway musical, and then there were some elements to it that are like different from Evil Fusion. From what I was told. But in my personal review, I thought it was pretty good. It definitely has some, it's definitely a little bit more of a musical than the original film. The original film wasn't a musical. This one was more of a musical, but it also has elements to the original film, and like the original film, Katie realizes that, realizes who, who true friends really are throughout the movie, and let's just say that she doesn't fall for the practice a little too much than Janice kind of wanted her to. And let's just say things turn ugly at several parts in the movie. It kind of changes everyone's perspectives. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I definitely recommend it. So that's my movie review of Mean Girls, the 2024 version. Please enjoy my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.